it has a second year of clinical engineering, and it has a diploma from that university. I almost took autism down, so I don't know why I'm getting out of school. Hey, how are you guys doing? We're good. Sorry to bother you guys, but I couldn't help but notice you're a little bit confused about our course. Yeah, I am. I can understand the issue, but it's a lot that I'm learning. Well, what do you like to eat? What do you mean? I want to give you an example of a clinical engineering application. Say anything. Mm, I like ice cream. Well, did you know that chemical engineering is fully applicable to the entire production process of an ice cream industry? Really? But aren't machines that produce ice cream? Well, yeah, but before buying the equipment, the owner must know all about the process, which equipment to buy, and all types of stuff. I can explain it to you, but right now I'm running late. Hey, did you figure out about the ice cream production process? Oh, no, I totally forgot to refer to that. Well, I mean, I can explain it to you now. Do you have some free time? Sure, it'd be awesome. For the ice cream production process, basically we have five steps. The first one is to prepare the ice cream cones. Which would be the same as for a cake, with eggs, sugar, and milk, and everything else. Exactly. Next, we have the pasteurization, homogenization, maturation, and infusion. I didn't know that ice cream was made with cake, but I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. I can make a scene for you and explain step by step how it works. First, let's assume the following raw materials of an industry. These will be weighed according to the recipe, and then mixed in a common storage tank with the addition of 1260 liters of water. Next, we have the pasteurization phase, which occurs continuously or discontinuously. In the continuous process, the temperature of the mixture is rapidly raised to 80 degrees Celsius for 25 seconds and cooled instantaneously. In the batch process, the mixture is heated to anywhere between 69 and 71 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and is cooled rapidly. The next step is the homogenization, which aims to achieve a stable and uniform fat suspension by reducing the size of the fat globules, leaving a softer texture and reducing the melting speed of the ice cream. The ice cream is then cooled to a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, followed by the maturation process. In the maturation, the temperature is maintained at or below 4 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 6 hours and a maximum of 24 hours, under slow and constant agitation. In this step, flavorings are added and the following reactions occur. Milk proteins bind to water particles that are free in the syrup. Due to this binding of the proteins to the water particles, the syrup acquires a more dense and resistant structure. This results in more air incorporation, more softness, and more resistance to temperature oscillations. After that, we have the process of overrun, which basically is the injection of air into the mass of the ice cream to make it more viscous. It's worth mentioning that the excess of air can lead to the ice cream looking like foam, while the lack of it leaves the mass heavy on the palate. Because of this, this process requires a lot of precision to guarantee the quality of the product. We then proceed to the addition of toppings that make up the filling of our final product. For the final preparations, the ice cream cannot be completely frozen before being packed because it affects the quality of the final product. This recipe produces 2,001 kg pots, which are then ready to be distributed. Since we're talking about the industry using several processes in food, we need to take some precautions. What's wrong? Well, you're not going to go to the lab and have to wear lab coats and gloves. In the industries, we have to wear personal protective equipment. What? Personal protective equipment? Yeah, we often forget, forget, but the companies have to guarantee a safe place for the employees. And how is it done besides the equipment? Well, caring for the workplace, preventing accidents, implementing collective safety measures, training employees. Our work is much more than we imagine. For sure. Anyway, thank you for the explanation. It would be very helpful. You're welcome. If you want to know anything about our course, just hit me up. Okay, now I'm on the bench, so we're going to have some ice cream. Do you want to come? Sure, let's go.